guys, welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a new hay area for the girls. For those of you who may not have known, Lola unfortunately actually did get Bumblefoot. And of course, when I found out she had Bumblefoot, I did talk to the vet as well as I was trying to figure out what caused it. I came to the conclusion that she got the Bumblefoot from their litter box. As many of you know, I do use a litter box for my guinea pigs as it keeps the hay contained and it helps with my allergies to hay. Litter boxes definitely can be good for your guinea pigs, but something you should know about them is if you have a litter box, you're going to need to clean that litter box absolutely every single day or even twice a day if you want the hay to always stay fresh. One of the problems I had is I don't actually use litter in the litter box, so when I just put down the plain hay, say the guinea pigs were to pee, they'd be sitting in the liquid, which could cause bumblefoot. So that is why I decided to no longer be using litter boxes. Instead, I came up with an idea to give the guinea pigs a new hay station, but still keep the hay contained. As you guys saw in my previous video, I did get a bunch of coreplast, and that is what the coreplast is actually for. We're going to go ahead and start this project now. Excuse the little mess over here, but I do have two of my heating dad liners in the wash um, currently. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to turn either this hole and I'm not sure how big the litter area is going to be, but I'm making this end of the enclosure basically like a hay station. The first thing I have to do is make the new hay station out of the core class, so we're going to go ahead and start that now. So this is going to be the base, it's not actually going to be this big because I am going to be folding up the walls, but this is the basic look of how the litter box is going to be. I just have some white duct tape and I'm going to be using this to hold the core class pieces together. Right here, I just went ahead and duct taped two pieces of the core plus together. So I'm gonna go ahead and double this and I will talk to you guys when I'm done with that. These are the two pieces of core plast all taped and they're all ready to be put together. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put another line of duct tape down there. This is the finished core plast piece. It's definitely not perfect, but it should work. This is about three feet in length, so it should work pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and just score it to then cut it to fit the enclosure. If you guys can't tell, what I'm basically going for is I'm just gonna make a box with a very short lid, and I know you're probably thinking, how on earth is this different from a litter box? But basically, I'm going to be putting down a fleece pad inside, and the edges are going to be much shorter, so it will be easier to get into the box, and I'm going to have either a hay pile or some form of a hay rack. I'm honestly just hoping this turns out good because I've never worked with core plast before, so I'm not too sure what I'm doing, but let's hope it turns out good.
that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to tell us in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching.